welcome back to my channel if you are new here. This is Geeky Chic and my name is Thea. We talk about everything from beauty and fashion to nerdiness to food, which is what we're talking about today. So I am going to be opening my deluxe Love With Food box for April. Today is, yeah, it's April still. And Love With Food, if you don't already know, is a subscription service that sends you snacks that are mostly healthy, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, everything like that. And with every box that you purchase, if you get the smaller tasting box, they donate a meal to someone in need in America. And if you get the gluten-free box or the deluxe box, they donate two meals. So let's get into these snacks. I am starving. I'm going to try to limit myself to only a couple different snacks of tasting them, even though I'll probably want to eat the whole box. But let's see what's in here. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. There is, as always, a little booklet describing all of the foods that are in here. They let you know if they're vegan or non-GMO or what have you. But first, I'm noticing these, I want to say the brand is Bally's Best tea candy and green tea latte. I think that I've had these before and they're really good. They taste like green tea. And there's three of those. These are authentic Italian pasta chips in the flavor of rosemary. These look really good. I don't know what the brand is. I don't know if it's authentic Italian. But look how yummy those look. I love crackers and chips. Um, yeah, okay, it says pasta chips by pasta chips. Okay, I think this is what I want to try. Okay. I think I want to try this second thing in and I already want to taste it, but it sounds really good. By the way, these are non-GMO, dairy-free, and vegan. You guys, these taste like pasta. These are so good. I want to eat this whole bag right now. Amazing. This is really big and it's kind of disappointing because it looks gross. Roasted kale. Rhythm Superfoods, I think is the brand. Gluten-free, vegan, organic, dairy-free sounds nasty. I don't like kale and I really don't think I'm gonna like roasted kale either. It's chili lime is the flavor and that might make it a little bit better but I honestly I don't understand how this could be good. I'm gonna see if somebody else wants this probably. I might try it but I might just give it to my mom. Let's get into things that sound better because I'm a child. This is Skeeter Nut Free All Natural Shortbread Mini Cookies. That sounds delicious. I love shortbread cookies. They're really good. They basically just taste like butter. Yeah, the ing only ingredients are whole wheat flour, butter, sugar, and salt. Oh look, there's also Skeeter Nut Free Double Chocolate Mini Cookies. Those sound super good too. Then there are two bags of the Boulder Canyon Coconut Oil Kettle Chips. And I think I've actually seen these at my grocery store, but I want to say that they looked good, but kind of expensive, and so I've never tried them. I love coconut and coconut oil. The only ingredients are potatoes, coconut oil, and sea salt. So that's pretty cool, but gosh, these sound really good. I love potato chips. I love kettle chips especially, and I love anything coconut related. Two bags of those, they sound awesome. Don't think I'm gonna try them though, because I imagine they're gonna mostly taste like regular potato chips. Those are dairy-free, gluten-free, vegan, and non-GMO. Then there is two of these. These are Honey Stinger gluten-free organic maple waffles. And I think I've had something similar to these before. I wanna say they were Dutch, and I got them from World Market, but they were little. This is a bigger one. Gluten-free flour blend. So it's organic rice flour, potato starch, and tapioca flour. Okay, that sounds really good. Uh, I don't think I want to try these right now because they're really sweet. They're uh, kind of soft and squishy and they're like coated in honey and probably in this one like maple syrup too. These are Lakey, L-A-I-K-I, black rice crackers. And there's rice, oil, salt, and nothing else. Those are the only ingredients. I imagine they probably just taste like uh, rice crackers. I don't know what black rice is though. That's a little bit scary. <laughs> Gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, and dairy-free. Just two more things in here. This one had a lot of doubles. So there's the nu Nutritiva banana bar. There's two of those. This is really thick. It says it's better than one banana. Three bananas and one. So is it just banana? I can't hold on to anything today. The only ingredients are banana and lime juice. That's probably to, as a natural preservative. It sounds really weird. You're gonna do a double take when you realize all this huge fruity flavor is packed in only two ingredients. Gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, dairy-free. This one's kind of scary. Should I try it? I'm gonna try this one. 
There's two of them. Oh, look at that color. Oh my gosh. I hope this tastes good. It's not like super bad, but it's not good either. It tastes like banana, but like really strong banana and like a really old banana. You know, after, if you eat a banana, once it gets like really brown, so this tastes like, and it looks like it too. I mean, like, look at that. It's really weird looking. Definitely doesn't taste like lime. I think that's just to preserve it. And the texture, it's kind of like a fruit, uh, like a fruit strip, like a natural fruit strip, not like a fruit roll up, not like a fruit by the foot. It's not really good. Don't recommend this. If you really like bananas and you think you would like this, I mean, go ahead, but it's, I like bananas a lot, but I don't like that at all. And the last two things in here, they're again, the same product, but this is Nature's Bakery Stone Ground Whole Wheat Fig Bar in the flavor Raspberry. I don't really like figs, but I think I might like this, unless it tastes like a Fig Newton, in which case I wouldn't like it because I don't like Fig Newtons. Yeah, I guess it could be similar to a Fig Newton. I haven't had them for a long time though, and I might like it. And I like the raspberry flavor. They're also kosher, that's kind of cool. Should I try this one too? I'm gonna try this one too. There's two of them. And that last one was really gross. I need to get something to get the taste out of my mouth. It looks like a Fig Newton. It tastes like a Fig Newton. It's not terrible, but you know, it has that taste, that, almost artificial taste that I found like Fig Newtons and soft granola bars like this do. It's better than a Fig Newton, but it's very similar. So I'm gonna see if my husband wants those. I think he would like those more than I will. I personally think this is not the best one that I've gotten, the best level of food box that I've gotten. But I mean, everything is at least intriguing. I think there's a couple things that I'm gonna really enjoy. Potato chips. Cookies. But then there's also some things I don't think I'm going to enjoy. Oh, like the banana thing, which I definitely don't. And kale chips, which I can almost guarantee that I won't like these. But I do like getting all these different kinds of snacks, things that I wouldn't necessarily try normally. Like, I don't know why I wouldn't try these, but like, I don't think I ever have in the past. And they're amazing pasta chips. Why weren't these invented sooner? Pasta's like my second favorite food and chips are like my third. Combine them and they're incredible, right? Yeah, right. If you wanna sign up for Love With Food yourself, then go ahead and click the link down in the description. I will have that linked down there so you can check it out yourself. I definitely recommend it. I love trying all these new snacks, even if some of them aren't necessarily my favorite type of thing. If you enjoyed this unboxing video and video of me eating, Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can check out all my videos. I post about four videos a week. That is going to be it for me today, and until next time, I will see you very soon. Bye. It's probably right around the corner, but if you're not even going to prom, if you just want makeup ideas for a night out, in Poppin, Boa, Cami, Barely There, and Climax. So I'm going to swatch all of these on my hand, 